the metaphors of the watchmaker and the blind watchmaker. In chapter 10, we began to see how discoveries of concrete mechanisms of molecular and cellular interaction help dispel metaphors such as engineering, design, or intelligence in biological evolution. Prior to such detailed knowledge, Richard Dawkins' 1986 metaphor of the blind watchmaker provided an accessible popular explanation of why natural selection is inconsistent with such anthropomorphic or creationist explanations. Evolution of complexity and the origin of species are driven by the struggle for existence. The deciding factors are competition for survival and reproduction. Each variant that occurs is tested against both constraints and opportunities presented by the environment and available niches. Adaptations are naturally selected in this way. Even the word selection carries conceptual baggage because it implies a conscious choice. But that is an illusion. That is why the metaphor of the blind watchmaker is a powerful one. It acknowledges our all-too-human tendency to attribute complex organization to intelligent design. In Darwin's time, this was exemplified by William Paley's watchmaker analogy that was based on natural theological precepts. Today, Paley has been replaced by more cynical approaches, such as attempts to force the teaching of so-called intelligent design pseudoscience in the public schools. Such attempts are readily exposed by genuine logic and science, yet are still promoted by powerful political and economic interests and appeals to religious fundamentalism.